episode we will learn about the selector switch and all the different modes that we can operate with the help of the selector switch now why this selector switch is given us because it allows us to change between the different operating modes if you see on the digital screen of the meter whenever we switch between the different modes it gives us some value it can be zero it can be some minute readings as well so what you do is you connect the two ends of the probe with each other and you will get a resistance of somewhere 2 to 3 ohms so this is the resistance of the test lead it is important to take this reading as a reference as the resistance will need to be subtracted for any part of the circuit that we are going to test now ol means open circuit so this completes completes our uh, resistance part now once we are done with the resistance part moving on to the next part what we have is a continuity mode so you see something like a wi-fi this is the continuity mode now whenever the selector switch is on this mode it will beep a sound whenever there is an electrical continuity between the probes now this function is useful for the for uh, for the fault findings or checking the fuses on board ships uh, we had an issue with the fuse for the generator and with the help of the continuity we were able to check whether the continuity is there or not. So probes have to be connected in such an order. The black probe should be connected in the common port and the red port should be connected in the continuity port. Now you see the continuity. I will bring a little bit closer. You see this continuity sign right here. So that means the red part has to be come on the continuity port and the black one in the common port so now this completes the continuity section as well going on to the next part you see right here this one this is a diode test mode you see the diagram of the diode is drawn here and right next to the diode there is one a yellow color drawing as well now you bring the di select a switch to the diode test mode now this diodes we allow the current to flow only in single direction you know it can either be a forward biased or a reverse biased but it will allow the current to flow only one direction so when we connect our probes to a diode in this mode the meter will read a small voltage if the diode is allowing the flow from the red probe to the black probe only then it will read a small value of the voltage now it will show whether a open circuit if the diode is not allowing the current to flow so you see if the current is not flowing from positive to negative the diode will show you an open circuit like this ol means open you see voltage dc underneath so this means the current is not allowing because there is no circuit there are no two connections for the current to flow from positive to the negative point now this diodes are mostly found in the dual power supply setups and for some higher hard wired logic appliances. So you see now there is one a yellow color symbol as well drawn right next to the diode. Now if you press the yellow button, the yellow function button while we are in this mode, it will allow us to test for the capacitance of a capacitor from nano to microfarads which is the unit of a capacitance so you can check this value of the capacitance as well while you are in this mode with the help of this yellow function button so to test the capacitance simply measure across each leg for the capacitor so now this completes our diode test mode as well so moving on to the next mode which we have is a current ac you see this one AC current mode so we will move right next to this all right so this mode is a current AC mode now in this current AC mode we can measure the currents up to 10 amps in the AC mode now currents are normally measured to check the load of the supply circuits in order to do this 
we have to isolate the circuit first then we have to pick up a point to break the circuit and we have to insert the meter using the probes in between the series with one of the leg so note the most important thing is that, that the port we will use for the current measurements are different from the voltage measurement now in the voltage me measurement port we were using was black in the common and the red one in the voltage or the resistance or continuity or diode test mode but in this case we are going to use this part the left port which is mentioned as a a for amps amps the unit of current now in this case the polarity does not matters in ac current applications but the very important thing to consider here is not to leave the exposed conductors while the meter is connected in series so use the connector block wherever it is applicable to avoid the shock now reconnect the circuit and check the reading of current if the current is above 10 amps the internal fuse of this multimeter will probably blow out just to protect the device so do you notice yellow heart symbol on this underneath the ac current here so this is mean so basically this means because the measurement in the ac measurements the frequency of the voltage can also be checked by pressing this yellow button so you can check the frequency as well in the ac current mode when the selector switch is in the ac current mode so bringing up to the last mode which we have on this multimeter is the dc a so basically this is dc current mode so you see in this mode you may have to test the power drawn of supply voltage now the dc currents are mostly used as signals too so such as 4 to 20 milliamps for a pressure or a temperature transmitters we are using them we can measure the current exactly the same as ac voltage by isolating the loop and going in series with the circuit and the selector switch on this mode the common black color probe connected to this port and the red color probe connected to the this end of the port so this is how you measure the current in the dc mode as well thank you so much